Thought it would be nice to show how the power feed works on the quill on a on a manual mill such as this one. Yeah, even the Bridgeports and other brands are all pretty similar. Um, you, as this turns, um, you can see that the mill is raising up. You can see the hand crank turning. Well, this will be powered when I'm running. But um, there's also a nice feature here since my boring head is too, it's a little bit too short to clear the one inch. Um, I need to stop it ahead of time. So if you look here, I'm going to go, I have this stop here. And the way this works is as this thing is turning, it comes down and then it disengages. There's a... You can see the this whole thing here moves if you watch yeah and this this disengages it so now it's re-engaged um, but if you watch and listen so as I'm cutting at 2,000 rpms that snap is it's where it's gonna turn it off uh, I don't want to make a mistake and go too deep with this boring head so the other part about it is you have to choose how much feed per revolution. Um, and I have it in the three thousandths of an inch per revolution over there. Um, and then I need to take this and engage. I gotta turn the, turn the spindle a little bit to do that. Um, now I've got it locked in and now it's, it's ready to, use this in power feed. So the way that it goes up and down is you pull out on it and then it'll feed the wheel clockwise. And then you can press this in and then it'll reverse the direction. So you'll see this in the video when I'm running the machine, but I just wanted to explain this power feed quill option. Pull this lever. so far. Okay, now I can reverse it. I'll press in like that and I'll back it out of the hole. There's less tool pressure now so I might get a little bit of a very small material removal on the way up. Now I can let this go up and I'll show you here it's about to hit that uh, hard uh, stop, and then it'll shut it off again. 